So my name is Robin Johnson from Best From The Nest, and I very much am the unlikely entrepreneur. Before I started my business, I was a youth minister, and when you work for the church, the, the joke around the parish was, you know, that the benefits were out of this world because the pay was definitely not. But that was okay because I got to watch these young people become these extraordinary adults. However, when I had my son, things got a little tighter, and then he got sick and things got a lot tighter. You know, you want to talk about mommy guilt um, when, you know, your son is sick and the doctor comes to you and says, you know, he needs this test in order to find out what's wrong with him. And your first thought isn't, okay, let's do it. It's how can we do this and pay the mortgage at the same time? You know, and when we had our daughter, things got even tighter, like to the point where, you know, when the car made the funny noise or the air conditioner thumped, all I could do was crawl into bed and pull the covers over my head because there was nothing I could do to fix it. It felt like it was going to be impossible, and we would spend the rest of our lives being terrified that we weren't going to be able to make it. And I was on a trip to California, and I was on the way back, and I was listening to the story of this woman who was buying strollers and reselling them on the Internet. I was like, I could totally do that. I could totally do that. And so the next morning, I went with my son. We took $100 out of our emergency fund, which was like a million dollars at that time to us. You know? And so I remember still the 520s in my hand. And I'm pretty sure my son's first sight word was garage because we would get up at 5 in the morning and we would go to these garage sales and clean things up and sell them on Craigslist. From there, we moved to selling on eBay to Amazon. And just a few short years, we built a seven-figure business. But you know, one of the things that people don't tell you when you start a business is that it's going to be really scary. And there's going to be a lot of times that you're going to feel like a failure. And one of the things that I started to really know that I really enjoyed was working with other entrepreneurs, helping guide them through that path those, that they could have the life that they wanted. Because the life that I have now was completely impossible from who I was, you know, five, six years ago. And now I get the joy of working with all these other entrepreneurs, people who, you know, want to stay home with their disabled husband or, you know, moms that want to homeschool their kids or, you know, couples that just want to retire and finally be able to spend the time with each other that they never had to before. And, you know, as we started buying wholesale from different companies, we started working with these, you know, manufacturers or brand owners, people who would put their life savings, everything that they had into creating this product that they thought would make a difference in the marketplace. And, you know, we started to notice that sometimes things would go wonderfully and sometimes, you know, they just didn't have the bandwidth. They just didn't have the time or the energy to really learn all the complexities of how to sell online, especially on Amazon. And so one of the things that we've been growing and doing now is working with people that have put everything into you know, their brand and are looking to make sure that the item that they're bringing to market is really successful. And we're helping not only individuals, but companies grow and scale their business in e-commerce and especially on the Amazon platform, because that's one of the main places that we still sell. Um, we still, we still prim primarily products on Amazon and eBay, um, but then now we're also doing co coaching and courses. In fact, my Courses have been taken um, by people all over the world. I have a podcast now um, that you know helps other entrepreneurs. It's called the Unstoppable Entrepreneur Show, and we have people who listen all over the world, from Russia and China, everywhere. And um, it's been amazing to get to be part of other people's entrepreneurial stories, and that's something that I can really love. Um, and I'm always looking forward to the next chapter of, do, of helping other entrepreneurs. So if you've been thinking about starting a business. You know, I want you to know it's going to be scary and there's going to be times that you feel like you can't do it. But no matter where you are right now, no matter how desperate you are or no matter how afraid you are to even start, take that first action. Take that first step because the impossible is completely possible. You just have to reach out and get it.